Yes. What's that microphone? No. Okay, microphone is if you want to talk. Can we talk? Can we talk? Let's try it. Roger, Roger, five, six, seven. So that was the part of the band. <laughs> That's the part we can use Morse code. So now what we can do is turn the, this, this main knob until we can hear some voices. Let's go up to here. Morse, Morse code. This is the main tuning dial. We're using a dipole antenna, just a piece of wire outside. That's all it is. We have a station at Wamogo that has a tower and a directional antenna. Well, this is just simple set up here at Warren Square. A little demonstration of amateur radio. Now we have to turn this control. That's for voice. We just got a voice. Yeah, turn it. Off. It may sound like Donald Duck until you turn it tune the station correctly. Let's go here. You know, you go through the reflectors, but it's either uh, a lynch mob or, uh, a, or a, uh, a group of people uh, trying to make sure they all understand they bought the radio. It doesn't matter which group it is. It's just the way it seems. So. Oh, yeah. You're an expert. Maybe who? 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 Maybe Station. Now you can listen in to anybody's conversation. There's nothing private about this. At the same point, you can hear if you like the conversation when you join in. You have to have the call sign first. Also, I have to I have to log the contact, and this this is called a log box. And I have to write in the log book all the information about the contact. I heard you in there and want to say hello to you. So I'll say seven three. He's signing off. That email with the attachment to you. W zero W D from K three you are. Okay, John. Great to see you again. Thank you, Rose, for me, and we'll we'll talk soon. I'm glad your son is home safe. I'm sure he's got lots of stories. K three you are W zero W D. W zero W T from W A one M O G in Connecticut. Uh, W-A-1-M-O-G, W-0-W-D, good morning. Good morning, W-O-0, is it Whiskey Del Tango? Is it W-0 Whiskey Tango? Whiskey Delta. Thank you very much, W-0 Whiskey Delta, from W-A-1 Mike Oscar Golf, here at the Warren School in Connecticut. My name is Dan, Delta Alpha November, and we're doing a demonstration for some fourth graders. Copy? I sure do, Dan. My name is Joe, Juliet Oscar Echo. I'm just outside Minneapolis in the state of Minnesota, where uh, we're going to have a 75 degree day. Dan, I'm set up here. If you want to, uh, your signal's not super loud, but I, if you would like, I could uh, let you put some of the kids on the microphone and play it back so see what it sounds like over the uh, shortwave radio. Over. I think we have a couple candidates here that we probably do. Everybody's saying one up here, Joe. Okay, we're going to pass the mic around. They're going to say hello. They'll give you, you, they'll tell you their name and their age and uh, maybe just a little bit about themselves. We'll start off with Eric. Stand by. What's your first name, Eric? Say Eric. Hi, Eric. Hi, my name is Eric. How are you, Over. 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 Okay, let's try one more. Hi, my name is. Hi, my name is Elijah. Over. Liza, come back. Don't I, I missed you. Come back, Liza. Elijah. Elijah. My name is Elijah. Over. Okay, Elijah. Guys. That's the way to speak. Thanks. Nice and loud. And what I'm going to do is uh, the signal's not the loudest. Let me give you the two first ones and uh, let me try it here. See, there, there wasn't just enough signal. Okay. I've got Eric in there. Over. Over. Say it back. Let's try again. See what happens. Elijah. Well, you could hear Elijah better than Eric, but it, it just took a fade. That's the only uh, trick here. But this is, of course, now you can start talking about propagation. <laughs> Which is what everybody in the fourth grade needs to learn over. Very good. I was really, it uh, came through pretty well, Joe, mm -hmm. remarkably well. And uh, we're here at the Warren School uh, for a demonstration on amateur radio. I'm going to pass the mic on to some ladies. Uh, they'll yeah. say hello. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. You say hi, Joe. My name is? Hi, Joe. My name is Amelia. Over. Okay, that a little 
better, uh, Dan, and uh, I've got you pretty good this time also. So uh, here we go, Dan. I'll play this one back, and then you can move it around a little bit more here. Now you get an idea what it takes to get uh, signals to the space shuttle, too. <laughs> so, you ask him, how did uh, that come through, Dan? Over. Ask him, say your name, ask him a question. Ask him about himself. How old are you? Yeah. you what? What is WA1MOG, W0WD. Hi, Joe. I'm Olivia, and let's is it fun doing this a lot? Over. Okay, hi Olivia. You came through good, but you're going to hear that in between us is actually a thunderstorm. So you'll hear the lightning uh, going through the sky in with your voice. But here you come, Olivia. That was you, Olivia, and the noise. Over. Hi, my name is Jasper. Hi, Jesse. I hear you, too. Uh, Dan, hang on for a second. Uh, Dan? Yeah, go ahead, Joe. Okay. I, um, there's so much QSB that uh, it's almost, but you hear, it's a little bit of a challenge. I can play it back, but I'm not sure everybody can hear through it all. So, uh, uh, you know, bear with me on it, but it, it, if you could increase power just a little bit, it would help. Over. I wish I could, Joe. We're using a portable dipole in uh, the school here, and I have an F a TS-930, about 100 watts, and uh, this is as good as it gets. Go ahead. Okay. Well, this is what we call adverse conditions, so that which is important for people to Somebody needs to ask him a question about himself. What, what kind of work do you do? You're retired. You're you're in the the ask him? Let's pass the mic. Ask him. Tell him about yourself. Tell him about how it's cool. Tell him what you like. Let's go down and the audio will come up again. So... Uh, it's kind of a fun experiment, and and really the kids don't know what analog means these days. Ask them Even what their wristwatch you know says yes. numbers. It doesn't go Tell around about in a yourself. circle, does it, Dan? How old you are? Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, excellent. Uh, this is great. We're covering the, uh, te the technology and the science. I have another student who has some questions. He's going to tell you some things about the war in school. Nice and loud, Dave. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is David. I'm nine years old. Do, how much Morse code do you know, if any? Over. Say it again, please. Oh, sir. Hi, my name is David, and I'm nine years old. How much Morse code do you know, if any? Over. Over. Well, hi, David. My name is Joe, and I know the Morse code up to going about 25 words per minute. So you could speak faster than that. Um, you can speak at about 60 words a minute, unless you're really excited oh, tell that you can go faster. So, um, well, you're that's as cool. fast as I go. The Morse code is a very rhythmic language. It is a language, and uh, it's the little bits and dots, as you probably heard in, uh, before. And some people can copy up to 90 words a minute, which is faster than speaking. So, uh, and the importance of the Morse code is that it is... Uh, can penetrate through this noise much easier than the voice frequency. So that's why it exists. And that once upon a time, it was the only way to get messages across the country. And now that's all changed, as you know. So, uh, also, it's good to hear you, and let's see if this comes through. Awesome. And this will be you once again. That was, that was you in the noise. Uh, back to you again. Hello, my name is William, and live in Warren. We, I live in Warren. Tell, tell him how fast you type. And yeah, I, I, uh, can, I can type. I can type. Like about 30 words. Like about 30 words. Per minute. <laughs> per minute. How, how old is Joe? 
Uh, how old are you? Over. Over. That's kind of good. Well, I'm not an old codger, but I'm not a youngster either. I'm 61. Oh, and that's everybody nice tells me I look much younger, and of course my voice doesn't retired. sound too old and crappy. Yeah. But let me, you came through real good that time, uh, with all the good background information, and then you'll hear... Hi, my name is Jeremiah. I'm 10 years old and I like BMXing. Over. Okay, Jeremiah, got you pretty good that time. And here we go. Here comes Jeremiah. We all know you're 10 now, Jeremiah. Uh, go ahead, Dan. Hi, my name is Trevor, and I'm 9, and my birthday's on December 25th. Over. Oh, boy. Double presents for you, hopefully. Heather, uh, here you are. Here's how you sound on the radio. You're here. figured out that time, the second time I listened, so you came through good, as you heard. So, Why don't you okay, tell them about the, the Magic one, Garden, that we did special projects in the fourth grade. That'd be good. Sure, tell them something about that. Nice and loud. Nice and loud. Excuse me. I'm trying to get to Hi, my name is Chloe, and today we did a play in my classroom, and we did Little Red Riding Hood. USB on that one. Maybe uh, with the younger voices, go a little higher on the mic game. Never, you know, quarter turn or something. It may help uh, Dan over. Yep, make sure you talk right into the mic. Hi, my name is Chloe, and we did a play today in school. It was Little Red Writing Hood. Over. Let me see how that one came through. Here we go. Um, it's there was this W zero W D. Oh, yeah. Did you hear yourself, uh, Chloe? <coughs> yes, over. Very good. That, uh, that time you were right in the room. You just came right up with the... Uh, if you get a little closer to the microphone, that would help. Here, we'll listen. Get to know Joe. Ask about Joe. Tell him a little about you and your family. Go ahead. Bring close to that. Uh, Dan, if we have any more, W0WD. Yes, we do. Get on there. Hi, Hello, Jerry. my name is Cassidy. Are you retired? Over. Over. Yes, I'm retired. I was once upon a time uh, an engineer, and uh, now engineer. I am trying to uh, work on getting in health, good health, and good in shape so I could have some fun. So we, what happens, we work so hard, and then what, what do we want to do? We want to ride bicycles and walk the beach. And it's a long way from where I am to the beach here in Minnesota, although we have beaches around the lake. So let me send this one back. Here we go. Here's a way to record it. Hi, my name's Caitlin, and I'm nine. Um, Ask them some do, you grandchildren. do you have any grandchildren? Um, or dogs? Or dogs or any type of pets? Over. No, and lots of no's this time. I, uh, I'm a, I'm single, 
So I don't have any kids, no grandkids, and no pets. Now, what does that mean? That means I used to travel an awful lot. And uh, I, I did. Kind of uh, I have was. gone around the world many times wow. and been to most countries. No, not most countries, but many industrialized countries. And have had a chance to travel. But then, of course, when you're in an airplane, you're not home. So some of the home life disappeared as a result of a job. But here we go. Here is the Hi, my name is Caitlin, and I'm nine. Um, do you have any grandchildren? Um, and Caitlin, to go further with your question, around here I have. Uh, I have deer that come in the yard for feeding and lots of birds and other types of animals. I'm uh, right in the middle of the country and we're north um, and we have lots of wildlife still here. So those are my pets. They, uh, it's just like taking care of them because I have to buy bird food and, and alfalfa for the deer and things like that. Then over to you, WA1MOG, W0WD. Now you say w 0 WD, this is WA1 MLG. You have to give that call sign. Uh -oh. You know what you do? It's a written down. Hey, very good, Joe. I just want to make an ID W0WD. This is WA1 MLG, and we have another student for you. Stand by. Hi, my name is Elizabeth, and I was wondering what your favorite things to do are, or like where your favorite places were to go when you traveled. Over. Um, I kind of have a, a different philosophy. I like to go and observe and, and learn. So what I do is kind of investigate different places. Now I enjoy Europe very much because that's where my ancestors are from. But I also have been to Asia and enjoyed that because now I'm learning something completely new. So that that was a fun thing, and then I, I I must admit though I like the U.S. the best because it has everything um, that you could imagine, and the things that we have here are so uh, taken for granted at times that until you travel, you will not see how good things are. You know, it's just you've heard the story once where somebody says the grass is greener on the other side of the street. Well, that's not always the case. So let me play you back, and then I'll make a, a couple other comments, and I'll tell you my favorite place after that. Here we go.